Howdy, welcome to the studio. I'm JJ and I'm making Command Quest, a puzzle game with mind control. It's been way too long since the last devlog, but I have a good reason. I've been working on adding 11, make that 12, puzzle objects to the game. While the two main mechanics are pushing things and commanding things, these mechanics by themselves don't do anything unless you have something to push or command. So I've been working on adding a couple of objects that I think are pretty interesting to do that with. So what objects have I added exactly? Introducing the lineup. First up we have the crate. It's a pretty fragile box that's also very light and easy to push. In fact, it's so light that you can push multiple crates in a train. Next up we have spikes. These are pointy metal things that stick up from the ground. Who put them there? No idea. All I know is they're very pointy, very dangerous, and they immediately disintegrate anything that touches them. Next up we have the ice cube. It's cold, of course, but this is a puzzle game. We don't use ice for that. No, no, no. Whenever you see ice in a puzzle game, it's guaranteed that it's being used for its property of low friction. Ice is slippery, and when you push it, it keeps on moving until it hits something that stops it. Next up, we have the Boom Shroom. I named it myself, if you couldn't tell. When you hurt a Boom Shroom, it gets angry, and an angry shroom is about to boom. Creeping in from the sidelines comes the Beetle. A beetle is a very, very large creature, and to sustain such a huge size, a beetle has to eat. A lot. In fact, a beetle eats everything that gets in front of its face, and kills it immediately. Just like the spikes, but evil. If you look down, you might spot a rotator tile. A rotator tile has mysterious power, similar to the power you have commanding objects, except it only uses it for two very specific things, rotating and rotating. Another object that has mysterious powers is the cloud. The cloud has a power opposite of your commanding abilities, and when you try to command an object that is enshrouded in mist, you'll fail. This next object is a creature. It's incredibly mysterious and incredibly powerful, possibly the most powerful object in the game. And you're looking at it, because the next object is the mimic, a creature that you can command to copy any other item in the scene. After all this chat about mysterious and powerful objects, I really want to get back to basics. And this next object is extremely basic. The brittle block. It breaks. And that's it. That's, that's all it does. It just breaks. It's very fragile. And rusty. It's rust colored. And it breaks. And finally, the last three objects which definitely were not stolen from Portal. The switch block, battery, and button. The switch block is a gate built by the robots to keep people out. The battery powers the gate, and the button powers the gate if it's pressed. So, that's all 12 objects that I've added to Command Quest, so far. I might add a few more in the future, but for now, this is all we need. Speaking of the future, there are actually a couple of important things that I do need to talk about regarding the future of this game. So I actually have a goal that I haven't told you about before now. I'm trying to release five commercial games and publish them on Steam by graduation. High school graduation, not college. Command Quest is the first game in that five. I was hoping to publish it sometime in the middle of this year, but it's taken quite a while to get the funding that I need for a business and a Steam page and other things like that. I'm not asking for money, I just wanted to tell you so that you know what's going on behind the scenes if Command Quest doesn't release as soon as you hope it would. In the meantime, before the Steam page is up, I'll be working on getting the first demo complete, and I'll be adding quality of life features like menus, settings, pausing, a better save system, sound effects because the game is silent right now, um, and even maybe music, except I'm not a musician so I would have to find somebody to do that. I'll also be releasing a few small test demos within my Discord community, so you can join the server if you want to be a part of that. The next step is to finally get some real content in this game, which is puzzles. Hopefully I'll be talking about how I added those in the next devlog, and until then, thanks for watching, and stay hot.